The alleged impaired driver accused of killing a nine-year-old Metairie girl has been located. As Paul Murphy reports, state police say Wendell Lackney will be booked with vehicular homicide and other charges. Abby Douglas spent many hours at LA Spirit in Elmwood training with her competitive cheerleading teams. Her coaches say the nine-year-old lit up the gym with her infectious smile and sweet attitude. She's always talking to people, always, you know, hugging people, always being nice to everyone, everyone she met. She never knew a stranger. Abby was the sweetest kid you ever met. Um, just a kind soul, nice to everybody. Um, she was very loud and spirited. Police suspect that 58-year-old Wendell Lackney was impaired when he crashed into the back of the car Douglas was riding in. It happened last Friday night on Bell Chase Highway near Gretna. She died on Sunday. Our kids are taking it very hard just because she was such an important part. Like she personally for my team, she was like the one that like got them all together. She was the leader. Sunny House from Mothers Against Drunk Driving says Lackney should be held accountable for what she called a serious violent crime. This young girl wasn't even finished growing, had just begun her life. And this is something that is breaking hearts everywhere. Hal says impaired driving is 100% preventable. You can look at Uber, a ride share, hail in a taxi, public transportation, make a plan, designate a driver. This is happening, this problem is still happening way too often. LA Spirit is dedicating this cheerleading season to Abby Douglas, and team members are looking for ways to remember her during upcoming competitions. One of the teams is having little shoe tags made so that we can carry a piece of her when they take the floor. LA Spirit has started a meal train and created a GoFundMe account for Douglas's family. I mean, Abby was just such a light. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Now, Abby was a student at St. Ann School in Metairie. Principal Lindsay Guidry says counselors from around the archdiocese have been available to provide support to the school's students, faculty, and staff. And she added that Abby was just a shining light and will be remembered fondly.